Naked in the Minefield was one of the uh, impulse buys I've ever made at Barnes & Noble, and it was a really good read. I think Gary Mullis is insane in the best possible way. I, I loved reading this book. It wasn't really structured. Uh, he didn't have any specific objectives that he was trying to accomplish with it. He didn't have any um, clear-cut points that he was trying to make. It's just like every chapter has his own little um, thoughts and... and uh, little stories about his life, and, and that's about all that it is. I really enjoyed parts of it, though, because of he's so out there. He challenges the HIV-AIDS hypothesis. He challenges uh, the current structure of the scientific community. He challenges global warming or climate change, whatever whichever um, term you want to use to describe it. And it's it's really a good read, and I, I love it because he's so out there. His his like there's. There's good scientists, and then there's great scientists, and then there's scientists like Kerry Mullis, who literally, his the way that he sees the world and, and things like that, it's almost as if he's like not, he's not grounded in reality. Like, he, he can he can let his mind, his mind is opened, and he can think about things in so many different ways that, that normal scientists don't think of things, and that's why I really like him. He is totally open and honest about his use of, of psychedelic drugs um, and just use of drugs in general such as LSD and marijuana and <laughs> tells some really funny stories about his usages of it but I think you know the, the context that he uses it in is is something that I, I've never really considered of using these things for um, expanding one's consciousness and opening up one's mind and I thought that that was really interesting to read about um, he doesn't really have any specific directionality. I didn't really walk away from his book knowing anything more other than just having a more uh, critical uh, thinking process towards the way that we are approaching things in the scientific community. So there's really no pros or cons about this. There's no need for sources cited. He's not trying to make an argument or build an argument. But on the overall scale of just like really entertaining, like if you're just trying to find a book out there that is going to be entertaining for you to read, if you want to find a book out there that's going to make you second guess uh, certain things or maybe just question uh, your reality, uh, your definition of reality as a whole, which is what I think science is supposed to do. <laughs> um, this is definitely a book that I would highly recommend. It's not long. It's it's pretty short. It's It's got some little funny uh, segments and things like that and about certain events that he's have happened to him in his life. But it was a really entertaining thing to read. It was a nice nice way to kill a weekend for me at least. So I gave it a final score of 7 out of 10. No real clear-cut directionality of it, but if you like science and if you specifically have ever used PCR, which I'm assuming like 90 billion percent of us have, uh, you, you'd like to know more about the guy who, who came up with this idea. This is, your, this is the best way to do that. 